Greetings and welcome to my game time series with Final Fantasy XIV A Realm Reborn. I've awaited this game for so long. I've waited for this since I first heard about its production back in 2008. Um, back then it was still being called or codenamed The Rapture. Um, pretty much two years later in 2010 it finally had a promise of release. Um, I was never, I never had a, a computer though that was able to at least run the game because it, it required such ridiculously high settings for your computers. Um, so pretty much I was forced to wait for the PlayStation 3 version to come out. And back then they had a, a promise of a simultaneous PlayStation 3 and PC release. But of course as time crawled by, um, I was, I was uh, forced to wait like everybody else. And... Um, but the only thing that kept me sane was being able to watch a fellow YouTuber and his adventures. Uh, his name is Sambo, and he had a weekly Let's Play series, and that pretty much kept me sane and kept me updated on on uh, all the events and all the current patches and everything that was going on inside the game. Um, eventually, under the leadership of a new producer, the current Final Fantasy XIV, which most people pretty much deemed absolutely wretched, came to an end with the destruction of the realm. And what brought up what about that destruction was a um, like a giant meteor or like moon, uh, whatever you want to call it. But it was uh, by the name of Dalamut. And with that destruction in November 2012 came the promise of a rebirth in August 2013. In my Game Time series, I will cover my exploits in the new realm of Eorzea, mostly for my personal record keeping purposes, but also to share my playstyle and interests with any and all that are intrigued by this MMORPG. So without further ado, it is game time. Ah, uh, hi Dylan. A vibrant planet blessed by the light of the crystal. Amid azure seas, encompassing the westernmost of the three great continents, there lies a realm embraced by gods and forged by heroes. Her name, Aorzea. The annals of Eorzean history chart the rise of a succession of great civilizations, each one enjoying an age of peace, the Astral Eras. To date, all have proven ephemeral. In the year 1572 of the sixth and most recent astral era, the Northern Empire of Gollumald amassed a great army at the heart of Eorzea, seeking dominion over all. Rising in desperate resistance, the forces of the Eorzean Alliance met their would-be conquerors in the field. Yet, even as the battle raged, the lesser moon Dalin was plucked from the heavens through imperial machination. From its core emerged the elder primal Bahamut, who unleashed his fury upon the realm. The devastation brought Eorzea to its knees and the era to its end. Five years have come and gone. The light of life still shines upon Eorzea. Man labors tirelessly to raise himself from the calamity's ruin. The realm is forever changed, a 
stranger to him once more. Yet heedless of what lies ahead, he shall press on. Spurred by the promise of peace and prosperity. Amid this period of great change, an adventurer arrives in Eorzea, one whose tale is yet unwritten. May he ever walk in the light of the crystal. <laughs>